We want to get back to our next weather alert now. Let's give you a live look at Bethlehem as more storms roll in on next weather radar. Meteorologist Andrew Kozak is going virtual now to give you the latest on the track and the timing. Drew. Hey, you know, Yuki, yes, we are actually not only taking a look at the storms that left us, but looking at the bubbling up storms out to our west. Hey, let's take a look outside our virtual studio. In fact, before I put our monitors up and show you a couple of things around the area, we're looking to our west. You see the sky? Yeah, it's bright. The sun reflecting off some of those clouds. We are going to be looking to this direction as our next front moves in. And yeah, it's actually creating a kind of a nice sky, but expect this sky to darken up as our next weather comes in the next couple of hours and gives us a chance for showers and some thunderstorms across the area. Let's take it out of the beach for a second. Let me show you the great beach shots and up toward Lake Wall and Pompac right now. A couple of people in the lake or were just a couple of minutes ago. They just got out, but we actually in the Poconos will have a couple of storms tonight, followed by some really refreshing weather over the course of the next couple of days. That might go for a lot of us actually across the area. So there's some good news to be had in our seven day plan, which we'll have for you here in just a little bit. Let's spawn some of our temperatures and show you where we are right now across the area. 70s and 80s across the Jersey Shore from 77 in Atlantic City to 83 down in Cape May Millville at 89. It was around 90 degrees the last couple of hours. Remember though with that added humidity, even 89 feels really warm out there. Uh, 91 in Dover. We're looking at Philadelphia coming in at around 89 degrees. Trenton around 85. That's where we are right now. Let's talk about the storms that are moving in right here as we take a look at the radar. There's not a lot happening now. We're kind of in this little bit of a lull. So across Philadelphia, while the skies are kind of here and there uh, cloudy, but again, you look to our west there and there's a little bit of sun. We expand our view back and a lot of this now is starting to blow up. We're talking about these showers and storms by York over toward Lebanon, Lancaster. There's also a little bit of lightning here. There wasn't about 15, 20 minutes ago, and now these storms, while not severe, are starting to become stronger. Gusty winds, heavy rain going to be on the order of things here. Meantime, the front itself still well to the west of us as this gets a little bit closer to us tonight and a lot of this energy enters the instability or the unstable air. We likely are going to see some strong, possibly severe storms, which is why everybody is in that slight risk. That's a two out of five for this evening up until about 10 o'clock. Heavy rain, sure. Large hail, likely not. We probably will see some small Peter marble sized hail along with gusty, possibly damaging winds over 60 miles per hour. We'll keep an eye on it. Tornado threat. It's never zero, but it's really low. Either way, we are watching and keeping you safe. Next 24 hours, the rain starts to come to an end, especially after midnight tonight. We'll likely have a couple of showers into the early morning hours Thursday post frontal, meaning it's not going to be anything significant and then we'll be fine. Watch the temperatures too. They will start to significantly drop behind the front with cooler, drier air coming in. So let's fast forward to Thursday afternoon. Temperatures 70s and 80s across much of our area, which means it feels so much better and it's also a lot drier across the area as well. Let's talk about your seven day forecast. The reward for all this will be much cooler weather. And when I say cooler, I mean instead of feeling like 105 to 110, we'll feel where we are and that will be in the mid to upper 80s Thursday, Friday and even into the weekend when we start hitting 90 again by Sunday. Humidity levels will stay in check. No major severe weather also after tonight in the foreseeable future. Stay with us. We'll be right back.